welcome to another video. I recorded my glute workout the other day, which was the bomb. Like, my butt still hurts. So, I'm gonna show you this in a real quick minute. But before I actually start, I wanted to introduce this video and make a little intro and show you three things that have become my favorites in the last week. If you know, I competed last Saturday. Today is Saturday, so exactly one week ago. And yeah, let's keep this rolling. So my very, very, very number one favorite is the bikini that I wore last weekend. If you know and follow me for a while, you know I always wore my lovely bikini from Suits by Jody. I absolutely love it. It's an absolute stunner. But I really just wanted something different for um, the nationals. So I got this really, 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 really stunning bikini. It is very extraordinary. It's very over the top. Oh my god, it's so it's still it still smells like tan. So this is the bikini that I wore on stage. It is isn't it absolutely gorgeous? It is one of my favorite color. It's burgundy like Bordeaux, um, which is one of my absolute favorite colors. It has the straps like this, and then the bottom is are like that and the number is still on because I don't know why it's red though so yes it still smells like glaze and tan and competition makes me a little nostalgic yeah so this piece is over the top, I got so, so, so many compliments on it. They were like, your bikini was was way, like, so blingy. It stood out on the stage. And that's exactly what I wanted. Like, I wanted to make a different impression this time around. I'm so glad I invested in this bikini. If you live in Switzerland or Germany or Liechtenstein, Austria, wherever, like in the German part area, I highly, highly recommend you hit up Nadine. She was actually one of my teammates who handcrafted these delicious peas. Um, I link her Facebook and Instagram down below. It's Royal Bikini Switzerland, so go check it out. I highly recommend her. She's really, really nice and very affordable in pricing. My second favorite is this box of protein bars because you know I have a really big thing with protein bars I don't know this is what I crave a lot during competition prep so what I said is um, I told my sponsors they should not ship me anything until I'm done with competition prep and of course they brought this big box of uh, protein bars to my competition and um, these are the three current flavors that they have these are the three current flavors this one is strawberry muffin, this is banana muffin, and this is gingerbread. If you know me, I'm not a strawberry person at all. Like, I don't like berry flavored whey, I don't like berry flavored anything, um, yogurt, anything. I just like real berries. But this one is not too shabby. It's not super, super sweet, which is like not so artificial and um, makes it actually you know, edible. The banana muffin is really good. I have not tried that one with peanut butter, but I can only imagine how good that would taste if you actually had peanut butter on it. And this is the, my all-time ultimate favorite. It is gingerbread. It is perfect in season. It is so good. It does really taste gingerbready, but not they're all not extraordinarily sweet. So they're really, really good. The macros on each of these pieces is 200. 260 calories, 7.8 fat, 30 carbs, and 20 protein. So, not your regular Quest protein bar, but still really, really good macros, I find. They're big, they're very filling, and they have a big, thick layer of chocolate around actual real chocolate. So, highly, highly recommend them. I also link the link to get these down below. You can save. 15% using my code. I also link the code down below. So guys, check them out there from A1 Nutrition. Did I mention that? And um, they're really, really good. And my third favorite of this week is something that is very, very personal. 
and I don't want to like it's not something that I need to brag about but um, is my two medals that I got in the past three weeks four weeks competing and this is the medal that I got at the Swiss International Cup um, for figure art class this is my sixth place this is the medal that I got at the Swiss Nationals um, where I placed second between these <laughs> I'm getting emotional. Between these, there was a lot of doubt and uh, it's only two weeks between but there's a lot of doubt. But so much fire, so much willpower to perform better and to impress people. I've always been like an underdog kind of person. Like I share a lot of social me on social media but um, all my life in school I have always been a person that was really just doing minimalistic work throughout the semester and then when it came to finals I would sit down and work my ass off to score high and to kind of get into the next semester and the um, teacher knew about that, my parents know about that, I actually know about it and I hate this kind of attitude to be honest, like I hate it because it puts so much pressure on me but I don't know, I just work best under this kind of pressure. I perform my, my absolute top. I always have and um, as much as I hate doing it because it's so stupid, it's so stressful. Between do these is not only four places and two weeks but it's also so much pride and so much sacrifice and... Why did I get emotional? I didn't want to get emotional. So yeah, I think these are my three <laughs> weekly favorites um, of the past seven-ish days since show day. So let's continue and I hope you enjoyed the workout footage. If you do so, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe because as I mentioned always, I really, really appreciate it and there is so much more to come and yes, I love you to absolute pieces. Bye!